Welcome back to Jersey Matters. Dawn Sands Lamenti. Spring of 2018 is the season of great anticipation here in Atlantic City and across the entire state of New Jersey. Why? Because of a looming United States Supreme Court ruling. New Jersey may hit the jackpot with an upcoming U.S. Supreme Court ruling in one of the most important sports betting cases in American history. It's certainly not constitutional only to allow a few states to have sports betting while the rest of the country isn't allowed. And there are billions of dollars that leave the country every year that we are unable to stop or collect. So it only makes sense that the Supreme Court does the right thing and, and approves gaming throughout the country. Experts say the odds are in New Jersey's favor after a five-year battle challenging the constitutionality of a federal law that made gambling on pro and collegiate athletics illegal, except for Nevada, Delaware, Montana, and Oregon. We are very hopeful that the uh, Supreme Court will rule in our favor and kind of allow for uh, sports betting like it is all over the world. Um, we think it's going to be terrific for Atlantic City. We think it's going to be great for the state and really going to be great for resorts. We're going to be prepared to launch day one. Another launch 40 years ago this Memorial Day, Resorts Casino and Hotel in Atlantic City celebrated its grand opening as the first casino to open in the nation outside Nevada. Business and community leaders are hopeful for a renaissance of America's playground. Construction continues at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino with a half-billion-dollar renovation of the former Taj Mahal. We're attached to Hard Rock. When, this, when the former Taj Mahal was built, the resorts built that property. So it was built to really be kind of like a one-property concept. So we think Hard Rock and resorts will coexist quite well. Uh, Ocean Casino Resorts is expected to open. They're hiring and, and planning on opening. And we think it will allow for dynamic new offerings. And we think it's going to, you know, it'll make sure, it'll insist that we all get better because we all have to uh, grow together. Monmouth Park Racetrack is ready for action after investing a million dollars in its state-of-the-art facility. And you're ready to go immediately? We're ready to go probably two weeks after the court decides the case. There will be some logistics that we need to deal with. We're not sitting around waiting. We feel confident that we will prevail. But South Jersey lawmakers told me they oppose so-called racinos outside Atlantic City. I know it's a dichotomy that we support one but not the other. The sports betting industry, it could be a huge boost to South Jersey and our casinos here. I, th I think it's a good thing. For now, North and South Jersey are united in their hopes for a victory with the high court's ruling, expected at the earliest April 30th and at the latest mid-June. Analysts predict legal sports betting could yield $10 billion a year for New Jersey. Of course, the big question is, when will this ruling come? Some say weeks, some say months. But for casinos like resorts, they say they are ready to go once the ruling is in, hoping it goes their way. Reporting from Atlantic City for Jersey Matters, Dawn Stenzel-Menti. Up next, Larry's commentary.